I lived a long time in San Francisco, and I sang in a nightclub, and that was the beginning of the deterioration of, that's when I started getting into drugs and that kind of stuff, even though I knew it was wrong. I didn't have the strength or the power to come against that. I lived on Hate Street. It was during the time when uh, flower power was going on. And I remember one day I was walking down Ashbury Street and I was looking at all the people that were in all these different kinds of storefronts and go through these stores and you see people just strung out and looking for the truth. And it was so visible to me that they didn't have the truth, but yet I didn't have the truth. But it took about two years of um, going through this stuff within myself before Buck, who is my husband now, shared Jesus with me. And what he said was simply this, that you must be born again to enter into the kingdom of God. And at that point in my life, I was at the absolute bottom of anything within myself that was of any value had been ripped away, had been stolen, I had given it away, and there was nothing left in me. And I thought, uh, there's nothing good in me. I could never enter into the kingdom of God unless I am a new creature. So it made sense to me. I'd never heard that saying, being born again. It was just bigger than life. I thought, that's what I want. But I didn't know how to do it. And so I went through a real a wonderful time. It would take me 25 years to tell you the story of how Jesus entered into my life. But one of the things that he told me was that he wanted me to give my life to him and that he wanted to live through me. He said, all these other religions want you to become like God, become as God, and live your own life. He said, but I want your life and I want to live through you. Because I was in music, I lived in Hollywood at the time and I was doing commercials and I was involved with one of my other sisters and in a group. And we had, you know, record companies after us. We had, you know, s contracts and all those kinds of things. And the Lord told me, he said, either you can have everything you've ever wanted, everything, fame, money, everything, or you can have me. And it was simply that. He didn't say, you can have me and I'll do all this stuff for you. He said, or you can have me. And I said, Lord, after seeing you, I don't want anything else.